Hey everybody, it is Bridget here from Bridget's Healthy Kitchen, wishing you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And if you are in New Zealand, a very happy Waitangi day for February the 6th. If you're watching it live, I'm sure you're enjoying that beautiful day, which is our national holiday in New Zealand. So happy Waitangi day to all the Kiwis from Aotearoa, New Zealand who are joining us today. Um, and I think we might have a few because this particular recipe is a classic when it comes to New Zealand ice cream. And the ice cream I'm talking about is Hokey Pokey ice cream. For anyone who has never heard of Hokey Pokey ice cream, totally forgive you <laughs> if you don't know what it is. But if you can imagine the flavor of honeycomb. So if you've ever had honeycomb, which is lots and lots of sugar, and then they add baking soda into it, and it kind of bubbles all up, and it looks a bit like magic. Well, honeycomb, is the type of candy that or lolly that is made and then goes through the ice cream. Traditional, iconic, classic, whatever you want to call it, it really is New Zealand summer all kind of summed up in one. So we're gonna be making hokey pokey ice cream today. But as well as that, I'm also gonna be teaching you guys how to make that amazing chocolate shell that hardens on top of your ice cream. So we've got, you've got two recipes in one today, which is pretty cool. So um, of course I'm going to be using what you see behind me, which is um, Bridget's Healthy Ice Creamery. So you've got ice cream in seconds, which is really good. And the biggest tip I can say when it comes to um, using your ice creamery, have all your ingredients ready and then you've got ice cream in minutes, or well, not even that, ice cream in seconds. So let's get into the recipe. Of course, everything is sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. In fact, this recipe is vegan friendly as well. So it's pretty exciting. So come on down to my bench. We're gonna make the hokey pokey candy first, uh, which is not that hard to make. And of course, it's going to be sugar-free. So I'm gonna be working straight into my pot here. Um, so getting out the scales. And just a, I don't want to say a word of warning, but a word of caution is because we are making um, almost like a candy, things get pretty hot. So um, this is definitely one that if your kids are making this, you want to make sure you're always there supervising because this is going to get really hot. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding in some of our zero as sugar, our pure erythritol is going into my pot and I'm putting 80 grams of the erythritol into here which is around about um, 2.7 ounces of erythritol. So about 80 grams of that goes in. I'm also going to be adding in fiber syrup. This is really important. So our sweet as fiber syrup is going in as well. And the reason it's really important, because this is what's going to help to give us the color of the, um, of the wonderful honeycomb as well. So 50 grams, which is 1.7 ounces, 50 grams goes in there. There we go, 50 grams of that. And then we're just gonna go straight over to the cooktop. You wanna put it on sort of medium to high, and we're gonna allow it to start to do its thing. Now, as I was saying, this is a recipe that you definitely wanna supervise little ones around, because what happens in here, you know water normally comes to the boil, and it boils at a, once you've got bubbles, it comes to that boil, which is 100 degrees Celsius. Whereas sugar or anything like these types of sweeteners, they can actually go above 100 degrees Celsius. Hence why they can be a little bit on the dangerous side in terms of making sure that you do not want to get a burn from something like this. It's way worse than a, than a hot water burn. Trust me, Tr <laughs> take my word for it, it's really bad. So what we're doing here, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna add any types of spoons, I don't need to stir it at all. I'm just kind of swirling it and one of the, one of the secrets to this is you need to stand next to it. It doesn't take very long. So I'm going to prepare the tin that I'm going to be pouring the candy into. Um, so just a bit of non-stick baking paper, of course. Get that ready, because once this goes, it goes really fast. All right, put that in there. Ready to rock and roll. Another thing that you may want to invest in, once again, it's completely up to you, is I've got a little, um, digital metal thermometer here and this is just going to help me to give me a read of what the temperature is going on inside of here we don't want it to get too hot but at the same time we want it to get to a certain temperature you can still visually look at it and know that it's doing the right thing but this will give you an absolute um, perfect reading which is what you kind of want as well so swirling like I said you don't have to put any spoons inside of it 
I'm using a heavy bottom pot just to make sure we don't get things sticking and we get a really even heat which is important and right now I've got bubbles happening which is good I'm going to start testing the temperature so over to my little thermometer it's already telling me that the temperature has already exceeded 100 degrees Celsius so it's already over the point of boiling what boiling water would do and we want to take it to about 120 doesn't take long as I said we are nearly there so after it just comes to the boil, it'll boil for about 30 seconds, and that's it. Seriously, that's it. <laughs> Can you see the color of the liquid? It hasn't really colored up, which is fine. We don't need it to color up, because now it's time for the magic. I'm taking um, bicarb soda or baking soda, and you want to add in three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda straight into the pot there. Give it another bit of a swirl. What you're gonna see, can you guys see it start, the magic's happening, it's starting to bubble up, but it's also starting to color. Can you see that? It's starting to go like honeycomb. Isn't it cool? So that's why you don't have to have any color on the sweetener itself because it does it all in the pan. Right, watch your fingers. Remember, it's really hot. And then just pour the candy straight into a tray. Make sure that tray's got sides on it. Really important. Really, 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 really important. You don't want to get hot, bubbling liquid going everywhere. So that's kind of the candy done, but you can see, isn't that amazing? So that color um, is caused by the reaction that the baking soda has to all those sweetness. So now what you want to do is, by the way, that is so easy to clean, that just needs water. Like it's, you know, when you, if you've ever made hot sugar before, you know that the pot is a nightmare to clean. Not a nightmare when you're using zero sugar and uh, fiber syrup, it's so easy to clean. So now what you wanna do with your with your honeycomb candy, is just need to pop that in the fridge and that'll take about 30 to 40 minutes to harden. So I'm just gonna pop that off to the side. That's gonna go into the fridge, like that. And now we're gonna go and make the second topping. And you don't obviously have to use this topping if you are making hokey pokey ice cream. But isn't it nice to know you can? <laughs> We're making chocolate magic shell. So into my pot, I just have the tiniest bit of water, like literally there's probably like 100 mils, which is like 3.5 ounces of water, hardly anything, just on the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna turn the water on and I wanna bring it to a simmer. And then we're gonna put all the ingredients for our chocolate magic shell into my glass bowl. So you just need a glass bowl or a heat proof bowl. We're going to weigh all the ingredients straight into here. And this, I'm giving you enough for a, a decent amount of um, chalk magic shell. So this can actually be, you can make this and then you can store it and it lasts for ages. Because literally all it is, I have um, some sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free. In fact, this is a vegan dark chocolate known as a kibble. So it's kind of already, you know, ready to start being melted, which is pretty good. So you want to put 90 grams, which is three ounces of our dark, sugar-free, gluten-free, like this makes heaps. You will have chalk magic to burn after this. So 90 grams, three ounces of the chocolate goes in there. And then the only other ingredient you need is one I have here in this, in this bowl, uh, in this jar, and that is um, extra virgin coconut oil. Sima, thank you, Sima. So um, all we need for that is 15 mils, which is half an ounce of our coconut oil. The coconut oil is what helps it to go hard, and it's also what helps it to soften when we want to um, want to use it. So it's, it's very, very important. Right, with your, your pot on a just a very gentle simmer, you see that steam coming off it? That's actually what I'm gonna be using to melt this. Hey, go down a bit going crazy. I don't know why. There we go. All right. It's just on that little simmer. You just want to put your little, your little bowl into the water. Ideally, the base of the, um, of the bowl there is not actually touching the water. So it's kind of just hovering over the top. And then I like to use a little spatula. And then we just start to melt the chocolate and the oil together. And because I'm using this kibble, you know, this, this already broken up dark chocolate, it's really quick. It doesn't take long for it to start melting. And you don't want to give it too much heat, hence why we are, we are 
kind of hovering it over the water. But the other thing that you can do if you want to is you can pop this into the microwave, uh, chocolate and oil into the microwave, and then just heat it on sort of 30 second increments. And between the heating on high for 30 seconds, give it a bit of a stir just to see what's happening down below. And, um, and keep on doing that until your chocolate's completely smooth and melted. But it won't take long, obviously your microwave's pretty, pretty exceptional, but this works just as well, which is very cool. All right, give it a little bit of a stir. And as I was saying, when it comes to this chop magic, and um, the reason I call it chop magic because it was magical when I was a kid. Like, how can you put chocolate onto ice cream and then it goes hard? I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And guess what? We can eat that. <laughs> Because all it is, is this wonderful, you know, sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate, vegan chocolate, and a little bit of coconut oil. And that's how you make chocolate magic. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? So this stuff, as I was saying, it lasts for ages. So what you can do is um, you can store it, in a, you know, you can store it in a little jar or something along those lines. Store it in the fridge. It could last a couple of months in the fridge. And when you want to add it to your ice cream, you can either microwave it just to bring it back to liquid, or you can literally rest the jar in a little pot of just simmering water and um, wait for it to become liquid as well. So two, two ways that you can bring it back to life. And then of course you just dribble it all over your ice cream to get that wonderful hard shell. I'm, I'm, okay, my has got a question. I thought you were trying to come close to my chocolate. <laughs> If you don't have inulin yet, we didn't use inulin today, so you're fine. There was, there's no inulin being used in these recipes. The, um, so yeah, you're good. If you don't have inulin, I used erythritol, zero as sugar, and I used fiber syrup. So you're, you're good to go. Okay, so I, what we are talking about is um, when we made the honeycomb, um, you need to have 80 grams, which is 2.7 ounces of erythritol, of the zero sugar, and 50 grams, which is 1.7 ounces of our fiber syrup. All right, I'm nearly melted. I'm nearly good to go. No, there's no, no inulin in this one, which is great. There's inulin powder, of course. So I'm nearly melted. I'm looking for a smooth finish, because you don't have lumps in your chalk magic, let's be honest. <laughs> That's not right. You need smooth. Oh my gosh. We need it to be smooth. Beautiful, we're nearly there. And by the way, if you're wondering, this method that I'm using here is known as a bain-marie. That's what we call it in a, tr in a professional kitchen. And we use this as a way of melting chocolate. So even if you're not making chalk magic and you're just wanting to melt chocolate, this is how we do it in a professional kitchen. And um, it, it, it absolutely works every single time. The microwave can be a little bit hit and miss, as you know because sometimes you overheat it, whereas this, you know, you're standing above the stove, you're participating, you're watching it, you're, you know, getting hungry because your chocolate's looking pretty good, and right now I'm really happy with that, because as you can see, we have a smooth, wonderful liquid there. We basically have Choc Magic Shell, Ice Magic Shell, ready to go. So I'm just gonna take that off. I'm gonna leave it in the, in the water just to stay liquid. And now it's time to make ice cream, which is exciting. Time to make ice cream. Are you ready? Okay, so Coco's going to hand me the, oh, before she does that, sorry Coco, I'm going to make the ingredients for the ice cream first. So as I was saying before, it really pays to be um, organized when it comes to making your ice cream. And by that, I mean all your ingredients are ready to go. So once you get your plate out of the freezer, you just put all the ingredients on it. So for the base of our Hokey Pokey ice cream, I'm using an organic coconut cream. This one I got from Aldi. I just think it's absolutely fabulous. And what I always do is I always have coconut cream and coconut milk <laughs> and things that go onto my ice cream plate are always in the fridge now. Just in case someone needs that impromptu serving of ice cream. So I always have my liquids or my, you know, my creams in the fridge. So look at that, that's how long it's been in the fridge. It is rock hard, it's been in there overnight, which is perfect. Because you want your ingredients to be nice and cool before it goes on your plate. Because that means you can get two or three portions out of it at a time. So into my little bowl here, this is enough for one portion. 
I'm going to be adding the, co the coconut cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is such good quality coconut cream, by the way, from Audi. So we're adding into my little bowl here, 150 grams of our coconut cream. Here we go, 150, ooh, a little bit more. Perfect, 150 grams, which is 5.2 ounces. Of our, and, and, and you can see it is thick. That's why I love it. And what you'll find is you can extract so much of that really hard coconut cream. And you're only left with a little bit of liquid from this particular brand. Like it's such amazing quality, I just love it. So 150 mils of the coconut goes in there. I'm also gonna be adding in, remember it's a vanilla base. So I'm gonna be adding in one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla. Give it a little bit of a stir. And the only other thing that you need to add into it, this is how easy this ice cream is. And don't forget guys, you're making dairy free ice cream. The only other thing that you need to add into it is a little bit of a sweetener. And for that, I have already pre-blended um, our erythritol in the little machine to make it into a powder so you don't get a grainy um, ice cream. So into that, I'm gonna, into this, I'm gonna be adding sort of one and a half to two tablespoons of our zero as sugar erythritol. And that's gonna give us the sweetness that our ice cream so absolutely needs without any calories, without any, you know, sugar. So brilliant. All right, give that a bit of a stir. Mix it all in. Now, by the way, if you wanted to make, this is why I love this plate so much. If you didn't want to use coconut cream, there's nothing stopping you from making, using coconut yogurt and making like a frozen yogurt. It is so good, by the way, that frozen yogurt. All right. That's the mix done. Coco, would you like to pass me the plate? Remember, we store our plate in the freezer and it's stored upside down in the freezer and there is always a plate stored in our freezer upside down. It's time, I'm always ready to go, which is just super exciting. All right, just watch your, your shoulder, Coco. You're right next to the, thank you very much, right next to the camera. Okay, so our plate has been in the freezer. Well, it's always in the freezer, upside down, ready to go. So all I need to do is take my mix and spread it out onto the plate. I wish I had a spatula because I don't want to waste any. Where's my spatula? Here we go. I don't want to waste any of the any of the mix. It's so wonderful. So get that all out there. Remember as well that we don't put any um, metal objects near our plate because we don't want to scratch it. So the plate comes with bling, these little spatulas. And then it's just a matter of smoothing out, smoothing out whatever it is you decide to put on it. And don't forget, if you do want to order yourself a plate, it comes with an ebook that I created that has over 30 um, ice cream sorbet gelato recipes for you, but doesn't have this one. <laughs> doesn't have hokey pokey. What was I thinking? I know, right? So you, you just kind of wait a little bit, you know, and you kind of wait about 30 seconds and then have a bit of a test scrape to see if it's really come off and that probably lasts a little bit longer on there. Coco, would you pass me the honeycomb now from the fridge? She's so, she's so handy, our Coco. Very handy. All right. Thank you very much. I'm getting that ready. Ta -da, ta -da. That's what it looks like when it's done. I know, right? Don't be right. But I reckon our ice cream's looking pretty, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, here we go. You can feel it too when you begin to to sort of scrape up the plate, as you can feel that it's starting to cool down for you, which is wonderful and it's starting to get icy. And so then it's just up to you to kind of scrape it around, flatten it out again. And this is the moment now that you want to start thinking about putting in whatever mixings you're gonna be doing. And you guys know that the mixing that I'm gonna be doing is hokey pokey candy. So just break that hokey pokey candy right over top of it. I know, I know it's exciting. I'm excited, I'm excited, my hair's excited. You just break in some of that candy. That candy can go back into the fridge. Best place to store it, by the way, is in the fridge. And then get your little spatulas and start going for it and mixing it in and getting a wonderful ice cream happening that's got big chunks of homemade, oh, don't waste that one, homemade sugar-free hokey pokey candy I mean, oh my goodness i love the sound of it when it's really getting icy i love that 
because I know it's going to be delicious. All right, so there we go. It's looking pretty good. Happy with that. Where is my little container? Oh, there it is. Right, let's get our scoop on. This is the perfect amount, by the way, oh, fingers, apologies, for one person. That 150 mil, oh, be careful too, 150 mils of that coconut is just perfect for one portion. And if you wanted to, of course, you could now start to make portion number two. Just requires you to work a bit faster, but uh, it can be done now. So that is our ice cream, ready to go. Let's now finish it off with, remember what we made earlier? Yes, chocolate. <laughs> I know, it's exciting times. Are you ready? Get that out of the way, let's go. Okay, and then of course for the chalk magic, it's just a matter of a little bit of a drizzle, a little bit of a whatever you wanna do, if you wanna completely encase it in wonderful chocolate, I will leave that up to you. You don't need much, of course. And there you have it. We have Hokey Pokey ice cream with chalk magic, and you made that in not very long. But the beauty is, oh Coco, could I have that, that hokey pokey back? I want to talk about the hokey pokey one more time. The beauty is, now, you have all of this made, hokey pokey candy. It is phenomenal. Imagine just drizzling that in chocolate. Then you've got honeycomb, hokey pokey chocolate that you can have as almost like a candy. So the best way to store this is um, just break it up and store it in a container in the fridge. It's the best place for it. It'll last for ages, because you think about it, it's literally just fiber syrup and erythritol in there. But of course, I was just waiting to get that little set starting to harden, my little shell starting to harden. And um, I suggest, I suggest now, you go and make some hokey pokey candy and you put it in your ice cream and you have hokey pokey ice cream with a chalk magic shell. So thank you so much for watching today. Oh, it's starting to harden, yay. Um, thank you so much for watching today. I am still on the boost camp. I've got one more day to go. So guess what I won't be eating? This also freezes really well. So if you want to make it in advance and have it in your freezer, you can do that. Just pop it into a airtight container, a little plastic container. I have to put labels on mine so I remember what flavors they are because they kind of look all the same when they go in the freezer and that'll last in your freezer for three months. When you're ready to eat it, which for me will be Monday, is you just take it out of the freezer, out of the, con in the container, leave the container just for a couple of seconds, or a couple of minutes on the bench, 10 to 15 minutes, just to, just to come up to room temp temperature and then you can eat your ice cream. So thank you guys for watching. Happy Waitangi Day again to everyone joining us from um, Aotearoa, New Zealand. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It has been very exciting spending time with you. I look forward to next week because next week is all about Valentine's. In the kitchen all week, we are doing romantic, delicious dishes that you can share with your special someone. Or next week in Bridget's Healthy Kitchen, I look forward to spending time with you guys and seeing you then. Everyone take care, be well, enjoy, yes.